Today, we're taking a look at artists with strong and funny accents, like me. Let's do this video. <laughs> oh, yeah. One of the best ones. One of the best examples for sure. It adds so much to this song. Uh, just hearing them sing, man. Without the miles, would not be the same song. The man. Love it! I wanna keep my reputation. Oh, that's great. I'm a sensation. That works so well for this song. You try me once you make for more. Ah! I love that. Ah, oh, yes, Sweden. My favorite thing. I play this all the time with my friends. Yes. His, his feeling for rhythm is excellent. The Yay Lao Zrak. Let's go! Alert! Alert! Come here! Yo! Ooh! Shake those hips, Alert! My daddy put a gun to my head. Said if you kiss a boy, I'm gonna shoot you dead. Okay. Who usually sings with more of an American accent? I like when British singers use more of their accent. I like this song. Come back to the land where everything lost. That's funny. That sounds the same as the Swedish person faking it. Ah, oh, I love Rammstein. Apart from like Nickelback, I think Rammstein might be the best produced rock metal band. It just the guitar sounds are so good. She has starred on the Clive James show okay. and South Park, and she's known around the world for her unique voice. Here is Wing with Beat It. Oh, Wing, let's go. I love Wing. Ah, oh, this is classic. This is, goes in the same category as Ellert from earlier. Oh, I love how she just stands there for the intro. That's amazing. I love her. The only thing about Wang, though, is that, like, I have love for this woman. I think she's amazing. I don't, like, straight up laugh at it. Does that make sense? Like, I, it's more just, like, I love seeing it and it's funny. But there's also, like, a strong, like, <laughs> sympathy for her. Because some people will approach it in a meaner way towards her. I just, I don't know. I just kind of like it. Does that make sense? I like that she makes music. It makes me happy. It's like seeing someone else have a good time makes you happy. <laughs> Does that make sense at all? Oh, this is a good one, too. Oh, the backing tracks. The MIDI guitars. Oh yeah. This is such a serious song. I almost feel like the accent works against it, but it's such a great song. Like, there's a silly aspect to it, but maybe that adds to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, Sean Paul looks different, but then he came in. This right here is not Sean Paul. Okay, good to know. Yeah. Is people gonna be in there too? Maybe. Oh, I love this guy. This actually kind of rocks. 
the auto tuning is so satisfying. <laughs> the lyrics. The waste fellow. Show him Venu. Show him the taste of you. I always search for in bad. Uh, I also search bad in that doesn't sound good. <laughs> She's like ironic. I'm a very good bad boy. Oh, that panning there. Amazing. I be sweating pockets up and down my street. Cause there I spy the bloke. Ah. I love Australian accents. My friend Jazza is from Australia and I just love his voice. I'm on Smoko. So leave me alone. I'm on Smoko. So leave me alone. I'm on Smoko. What does this even mean? What's Smoko? I'm gonna look it up. I'm very confused. Okay, Smoko in Australia refers to a short informal break from work, traditionally for smoking. Though it now broadly encompasses coffee or snack breaks as well. So it's like just basically he's enforcing his break. <laughs> if I were a boy, <laughs> even just for a day. I mean, he could do I'd this better. I'd out of bed in the morning and throw out what I wanted and go. <laughs> With every day that passes by since we've spoken. So good. It's like Glasgow. I really like this song. Maybe what a singer, man. People say he's a bad singer, and I don't get it. I think he's amazing. But oh my love, I want to say I miss the green in your eyes. It just adds to and it. When I said we could be friends, guess I lied. I want to say I wish that you never left. Oh, but instead I only wish you the best. Oh. <laughs> no, this was supposed to be a funny video. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> cool. Uh. That's great. This works well for this like suave attitude in the song. Apparently the whole woohoo thing was improvised in the studio. He just did it. That guitar sound is crazy too. Love that. I'm sorry, <laughs> Love it. Very great band. Put some music on that soft and slow. <laughs> Baby, we ain't got no place to go. I mean, yeah, in a way, it's a funny. It's more of a funny voice than an accent. Never felt a feeling quite the strong. This is so relaxed. That's amazing. Now that we're heading into like Japan and stuff, we need to address the elephant in the room. Is it okay to laugh at funny accents? I say yes. Let me know in the comments if you think differently. We're not making fun of people like in that way. We're just like, it's funny. People say things differently. I'm Swedish. I have a Swedish accent. I sound silly a lot of the time. <laughs> I love the way Japanese people speak English. Like when you watch Jojo, for example, and they speak English, if you've seen the anime Jojo, it's amazing. It's just so entertaining. <laughs> Another thing that's weird here is just how low in the mix the vocals are. I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying to do this towards the speakers and I realize I'm listening in my in ears. You make me, make me, make me wanna cry. Mm. I mean, this is baby voice more than anything. What's 
going on with that music video, by the way? One Google search later. It's supposed to be like old people letting loose. The contrast serves to challenge societal expectations about age and joy, presenting a narrative where music and dance are timeless sources of happiness. I like that message, to be honest. Way more than I like the Dance Monkey song. Okay, cool. Castro's brother spies a rich lady who's crying <laughs> over the luxuries, disappointment, so he walks over. And he's over. To sympathize with her But he thinks that he should warn her That the third world is just around the corner Ah With your rhythm stick Hit me, hit me Je t'adore, ich liebe dich Hit me, hit me, hit me Hit me with your rhythm stick Hit me slowly, hit me quick Hit me I don't know if I want to know this, but I'm going to look up what those lyrics are about. Because, like, I can think of a basic euphemism, but is that really... <laughs> Is that really what it is? A variety of international locations and playful, suggestive language <laughs> to emphasize the universal appeal and connecting power of music. I don't know, man. It kind of seems more like someone's traveling the world to have a special time. <laughs> I may be wrong. Oh, yeah. You're a monster? You're a monster in my head. Mm. Yeah, I like it for his style. Cool voice, I think. I mean, everyone thinks so. That's why they're popular. <laughs> This is interesting though, because I feel way more hesitant making fun of like a Jamaican accent for some reason, or like laughing at a Jamaican accent. It just feels like, okay, <laughs> it's like, ooh, trouble, <laughs> you know? And just a buffalo soldier in the heart of America. Hmm. Stolen from Africa, brought to America. But if you close your eyes, does it hurt? This adds so much em like uh, emotion to it. His voice works great on this. I really like Happier they did with Marshmallow as well. Hmm. Don't worry about me, I'm gonna make it all right. Got my enemies crossed, they in my side. I think I'll be a situation, gonna make it right. In the shot, this <laughs> the light. See, it's our style to keep it true. I had a bad year. I'm going to have been knocked out. It's got a very interesting accent. <laughs> oh, this is very like German Shakira. <laughs> the little, the little symbol. Yes, man at work, let's go. Because I come from the land of plenty. And he said, oh, you come from a land down under. Oh, yeah. Women go and men wonder. What? What's going on with this music video? Okay. I've got pride, I understand. I had to be there from the start. I had to be the f***ing man. It was a clamor of the... Love this. It just adds more reasons to like a song when the accent is funny because I can totally see this being a very like emotional and moving song, but you can also listen to it in the funny way. I always think that the most viral videos that are out there, like for example, my most viral video, which is like, you know, an impression video, it can't like be funny, can't be impressive. There's all kinds of reasons why you might like that video. And similar with this music, it's like you're gonna listen to it because it's like, you know, you might think the accent's funny, but there might always be a deeper meaning and like it's good. Like there's all these things. And I think that's a hallmark of stuff that has wide appeal. You can like it for different reasons. By the way, my name is Rumi. Right now, we upload videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays. If you want to subscribe or whatever, we appreciate that. And these videos get claimed to smithereens by different labels. If you want to support us, make sure the videos keep coming out. Then you can support us on Patreon right here. There's some exclusive content, early access to videos, all kinds of stuff like that over on Patreon. If you ever seen a comment down below that is like days or weeks before a video comes out, that's because the Patreons were there. Damn, 
she's weird. <laughs> I mean, she's cool, but she's definitely weird. I actually haven't heard the English version of this. I was talking to Rod the other day, he was in a couple of my videos, and he said that he had heard the English version. I've only heard the German for some reason. But yeah, a very strong German accent. dancing. It's funny because a lot of the things that we think of as old people dances now weren't old people dances when they were young, obviously. It's not like you change your dance style when you get older. It's more like she looks young here. Like she was young here, but she dances like an old person. Like I've never... That's... <laughs> That type of dance, it was like popular back then. There's a Vsauce video where he talks about why people look younger now. And a big reason for it, I mean, there's all kinds of reasons like SPF or whatever. But also we just associate a lot of the things that people used to wear back in the day with being old. That was the fashion back then. So like they're wearing old people clothes. I wonder if that's going to be the same in a bunch of years never for us. Women are my favorite guys. <laughs> yeah, this is a parody, obviously. I love this. Kyle's a genius. This is so clever. Oh! He's from America. I didn't know that. It's so, like, right. It's just... That's so well done. Something inside you is feeling like I do. Give it to me. It's so pretty. This song's so pretty. I've spent a fair amount of time in Manchester and Liverpool, and honestly, that accent isn't too bad. When it's bad, or like when it's strong, you can barely hear what people are saying. There's this viral TikTok video of two girls, I think, from Liverpool. It's in my TikTok log, so I'm gonna see if I can find it. But that's like what I think of when I think of like Manchester Liverpoolish. Nah, nah, it's not funny. I've got school. <laughs> nah, I'm not laughing. I've got school. Nah, has he drawn on my face? Yeah. <laughs> I see one little window, it's me. <laughs> These lyrics are great. Oh, that's such a great title, Event Gardener. That's cool. There's like a weird little effect on that I think make his voice wobble. A lot of this music is really good. I think if you have a really strong accent and you get an international hit, generally the music is just like strong. I hate my wife. And her I and her boyfriend too. <laughs> ah, it's so great. Click here for a playlist of videos on funny music, and I will see you in the next one. This is a great time. I enjoyed this a lot. Now, editor, make me the hottest man alive.